This is the book of John chapter 21 and verse 17. John chapter 21 and verse 17. It says it reads, he saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, feed my sheep. All right. Brakat the Yahweh, brakat the Yahweh Shai. All right. Brakat the Yahweh, brakat the Yahweh Shai. Brakat the Yahweh, brakat the Yahweh Shai. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like I am that's pushing this word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, you know, uh, Adawan Rathaza, you know, that means Lord willing. You know, so Lord, in this sit down, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, is going to be basing on, you know, feeding the Lord's sheep, all right, feeding the elect all right, of the nation Israel with this word, man, all right, as the Lord told uh, Apostle Peter, all right, if you love, if you love me, feed my sheep. Who is the sheep? Let's get that. We gonna we we know that the sheep is Israel, but who's gonna hearken? The elect of Israel, man. This book of um, Jeremiah's the mountains of the sheep who have no shepherd. Yeah, let's get a uh, Jeremiah chapter fifty and verse seventeen. Israel is a scattered sheep. The lions have driven him away. First, the king of Assyria. Have devoured him, and the last is Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, have broken his bones. So, the Lord likened Israel to a shattered, to a, to a uh, scattered sheep. You know, our people. You know, they're they're docile, and and the Lord, the Lord scattered us. I right, throughout these throughout these nations because the Lord put the curse on us, man. All right, this is a book of um, Matthew chapter ten and verse six. But rap, but go. Thou rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. All right, and Israel is a people before the place. Are right, you Israelites? Are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? All right, also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers. All right, all right, we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, and our people are. Right, majority, a majority of, my, of our people is not going to get this truth. This truth is only for the elect. Of the nation Israel. All right. This is book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. But he answered and said, He answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So the house of Israel is representing the, the sheep. All right. And this um this right here, red letter. This is red letter. This is our Lord Yahweh. He's I'm gonna read it again because it's important. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's what the Lord came for. All right, that's who our Lord Yahweh Shai they died for. All right. Uh died for our sins, man. The elect. This is book of Acts chapter 5. Let's prove that. Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. It says, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the most high rather than men. So we ought to obey Yahweh Bashimasha rather than men. All right, verse 30. It says, The power of our fathers. Raise up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hang on a tree. Him have the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. So the Lord came to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21, just proving that the Lord only came for Israel. And the Lord told his men, all right, all right, the, the apostles. The prophets, I right, to feed his sheep. All right, he told uh, Peter. All right, but we coming back as a house of David, man. All right, 
defeated and waking up all right, the elect of the nation of Israel. Well, we push his word and the Lord do the sealing. All right. This book of Matthew chapter one, verse 21 says, and she said, sorry, and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins, man. So this is all about Israel. So let's go back to the uh, book of John. John 21 and verse John chapter 21, when I started at verse 15, it says, So when they had died, Yahweh Shai saith unto Simon Peter, which Simon was the head of the church, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? And he said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. Hey, lambs and sheep, same thing. He said unto him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. So he told him twice. All right. Now he's about to tell him the third time. Verse 17. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of jo Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? So the Lord said, you love me? Feed my sheep. If you really love the Lord, you're going to be feeding the Lord's sheep, man. You're going to be pushing his word. And he said unto him, and he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai said unto him, feed my sheep. So the Lord had to drill it into uh, Apostle Peter's mind to feed the Lord's sheep. And what the Lord said, Jeremiah chapter, I believe it's 3 and 15, 15 and 3. Yep, yeah, yeah, Jeremiah 3 and 15. What well, Jeremiah 15 and 4 says, turn, O backsliding children. Talking about Israel, said the Lord, for I am married unto you and will take you one of a city and two of a family and bring, and I will bring you to Zion. All right, so the Lord said he's going to get, that's the basically the Lord gathering the elect. All right. All right. One of a city, two of a family. Verse 15, it says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding so what we this word is representing knowledge and understanding this is well, the, the the feeding you the, this like the scriptures say uh told ezekiel eat the roll all right then you digest it you feed our people with this wisdom knowledge and understanding all right as it says in uh is the book of sirach they said bread of understanding Yeah, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 15 and verse three. With the bread of understanding shall she feed him and give him water of wisdom to drink. All right. Talk about this wisdom, knowledge, understanding with bread of understanding. Shall she feed him wisdom and give him the water of wisdom to drink? All right. And the scriptures talk about this word like living water. All right. Belly water. This is John chapter 7, verse 38. It says, He's he's he that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. All right, talking about this wisdom. There was another precept I was thinking of. Uh Isaiah 51. 50, bear with me. Yep. Um, yeah, let's get it. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 1. It says, Ho, ho everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. This truth. Eat and eat, come ye by, come by wine. The Lord uh, uh, liken this wisdom unto wine also. Then you got the wine of the world. All right, the, the wine of Babylon, the philosophies, the different philosophies. All right, it says in milk, but this this wine talking about this truth, knowledge, and understanding. And uh, milk without money and without price. I right, should say buy the truth, sell it not. All right, how do you buy the truth? Buy your time, man. Verse two, where do you spend money for that which is not bread and your labor for, for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye 
that which is good and let your soul delight in its fatness. All right. Eat that which is good, this word. All right. Like again, the Lord told Ezekiel, eat the. Actually, let's get that. Ezekiel 3. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1 says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thy fineness. So the word is likened unto food. All right. Chips are saying in the Proverbs, the feast. You know, the, the feast is ready. Roughly paraphrased. It says, moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. So we we eat this roll. We learn it from our apostle and elder great millstone. We have teachers. All right. We learn. We get the word. We digest it. Then we go out and teach. All right. All right. Uh, verse two, it says, so I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat this, that roll. And he said unto me, son of men, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then I, then did I eat it. And it was in my mouth as sweet as honey for sweetness. So is it sweet at first? But then in the book of Revelation, it says, all right, it became bitter. All right. Why? That's the tribulations that you go through once once you once you uh 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 See well once you in this truth for a couple of years, you know. All right, the Lord begins to chastise you. The Lord begins to right, put that affliction on you, basically. All right, or a couple of months, you know. However, you is if first you know your Israelites, then those trials and tribulation come upon you. Man, you know, it says, um, "Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness." Verse four, he said unto me, son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. So that's our job is to teach is to preach these words unto our people. All right. Let them know the heavenly father name is Yahweh. His son name is Yahweh Shai. Let them know that Israelites never know the, the, the warrant. Give them warning. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning for me. We tell our people not to take the MOTB. All right. Not to take the Karagma. All right. The grain of rice. Telling our people that famine coming, pestilence, diseases, all type of hell. All right. It's going to be like a time never before. And tell our people, hey, repent. All right. Because our Lord Yahweh is coming back to set up a righteous kingdom. He's about to destroy the armies of the world. He's about to take down the rulership of the so-called white man. All right. All right. He's about to he about to put us on, man. All right. So the Lord said, if you love him, feed his sheep. Scripture say, be instant, be instant in season, now to season, man. All right. Paul said, I have finished my course. So our job is to teach, you know, go out and preach. As the scripture says, let me see Matthew 20. No, Matthew 28. How do you Matthew 28? Yep, Matthew chapter 28 and verse uh, 18 Now in off on this Just a quick lesson, Lord, when it's edifying Feed the Lord's sheep, man It says, and Yahusha came and spake unto them Who the world angry called Jesus Christ His name is All power is given unto me in, he in heaven and in earth Because the Lord, he's glorified in the heavens right now He's going to come down on earth He's going to come down in earth and be glorified on earth, man When the heavenly father, Yahweh, give him that goat, that green light Go ye therefore and teach all nations. So we got to teach his word, put it on the internet, and then, then it, the, the word go forth throughout the world, man. All right, the Lord has the word go out and reach whoever he wants. All right, the elect. It says, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, verse 2, verse 20, Slaki. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I and with you all way even unto the end of the world man so the lord is with us right now man all right during the time of well we at the end of esau the so-called white man's world his eon all right and the lord told us to teach and feed his sheep man all right that's our job so lord what in this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation israel you know i want to give all praises all honor and all glory Unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. 
I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. A shalom, Akim. Keep pushing, keep doing shalom.